What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for The Mandalorian. So for this particular review, it's going to be Season 2, Episode 7, The Believer. So in the penultimate episode for Season 2, we have The Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and Fennec Shen um, basically going on a heist in order to recover the location of Grogu and where he is as far as with uh, Moff Gideon. So... They spring, um, what's his name from the, uh, the uh, Mayfield from jail or from prison using Cara Dune's, uh, Renew Republic, um, authorities and powers and all of that because he's the one person they know that can break into an Imperial base. Um, they end up going to the planet Morak, which has a secret Imperial facility for Rhydonium, which is essentially, um, starship fuel. Um, where they're, or they know that they can, or where, um, Mayfield can jack into the security console and, um, get that information. So, essentially, they make it to the planet, and, um, there's a bit of a dispute of who's gonna go to, um, break into the facility and, um, get that information. Mayfield says he can go, but because his name is in the Imperial Registry, he'll be picked up immediately and he'll end up going to jail, so he's in no better position um, in order to get that information. So, And then the plan could also go to bust from there. So the Mandalorian ends up going with him into the facility. They hijack one of the transport, the fuel transport um, trucks and get into the base. And then they run into a second information, second um, issue where Mayfield's former Imperial commander is in the commissary where they're going to use the port. And I originally was thinking that they could have just um, gone to another terminal, but that would re have required more time and increased the chances that they're found out. So uh, the Mandalorian decides to take off his helmet in order to use the console and get the mission done. But they get questioned by the um, superior officer anyways, who doesn't actually remember Mayfield, so their concerns were unfounded, and that provides the reason for them, to, or uh, uh, escape route for them by Mayfield killing the guy because Mayfield now has kind of basically sort of reformed his ways and doesn't want his guilty, con or doesn't want the um, con guilty conscience for his prior life on his hands anymore. Um, and they essentially break out after the Mandalorian gets the information. So from the assumption I can get is that we now know, or the Mandalorian now knows where Grogu is being kept, or at the very least they know where Moff Gideon's ship is. So the, the season finale is going to be that information, but they also kind of left it open-ended as far as what's going to happen in the finale, because we end the episode of the Man with the Mandalorian sending a message to Moff Gideon saying that um, Grogu means more to him than Gideon can ever know. So um, it's hard for me. It's a split between um, the Mandalorian wanting to honor the code as keeping Grogu as his um, apprentice versus having feelings for him now that Grogu's developed an attachment with the Mandalorian. So I'm actually kind of curious to see what they do from here. But the episode itself did not actually do much beyond um, setting up the final episode and getting or allowing um, the Mandalorian to get that information from the Imperial base. So we'll see what the finale is or if they actually do introduce a major new character as a season three Um uh, villain, so maybe someone along the lines of Thrawn, maybe another Jedi like Luke Skywalker, maybe a connection with Yoda. Um, there's all sorts of things that could happen. I'm kind of guessing they're gonna go with Thrawn because that would be the most reasonable explanation, especially with the name drop of um, Thrawn. Granted, they could do Yoda because ah Ahsoka mentioned him, but as far as we know, Ahsoka doesn't know where Yoda is, and Yoda, because Yoda is in his egg or as of these events, Yoda has passed away, so maybe Yoda joins in as a Force ghost because of the events that happened on the Force planet. So um, that's really kind of where we're ending off with the episode. It's 
it was basically a different form of a prison heist in that now we're on an information heist in order for the Mandalorian and his new gang to find Grogu wherever he might be and do this via finding um, or getting to Gideon's ship and um, getting Grogu from there. So um, the other thing that I kind of thought about when I was watching this is we kind of get a kind of look and feel as far as, and it didn't hit me until watching this episode, is that Gideon on a ship kind of reminds me of Knights of the Old Republic again a little bit as far as Saul Kareth and his ship. Um, so Saul Kareth, while he is a big bad in the in Knights of the Old Republic 1, he's ultimately serving um, Darth Malak. So for me, this episode also kind of set up, the, or the season is setting up um, a new big bad that Gideon... Um, uh, works under so I'm we're, I mean I'm I want to say that I'm like 80 or 90 percent certain that is Thrawn but we technically but we could have maybe a new Sith Lord or maybe something along some force user that's sitting out in the fringes of the outer rim who's a big bad but for me it's most likely going to be the season or the season two finale is going to be the revel, reveal of Thrawn whether it's in the final scenes or scene closing the episode or the whole episode and season three now becomes the Mandalorian having to unite the clans of Mandalore and having to go up against Thrawn leading to the Chiss Mandalorian war or something along those lines. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.